Hey, I'm Robert. Thank you for tuning in to my automobile test drive and review. Please stay tuned at the end of the video so you can get some valuable information that will help protect you in the purchase of a used automobile. Hey, this uh, auto review is of a 1997 Nissan Maxima. This car has a pretty powerful six-cylinder motor and is a, a good buy for somebody on a tight budget. Okay, this Nissan Maxima is tracking pretty straight. The cruise is still holding real good. And uh, it just seems like it's riding pretty nice. Shocks are a little worn, but, you know, for 196,000 miles, that's to be expected. Now, the cruise control button over there is almost impossible to see unless you lean up. But the controls here on the steering wheel are easy to function and they work real well. Over there you can see the multi-function uh, headlight switch and then it does have intermittent wipers over here. The uh, Something's going on with the stereo. It, it's trying to eject the tape deck and there's uh, not a tape in there. But you know those are things that you expect from a 16, 17 year old car that has, uh, you know, 200,000 miles on it. You just got to check it out and fix what's broken. But all in all, it seems like most of the things do function well on this car. Air conditioner is working okay. It's about 92 degrees. Could be a little cooler, but uh, it is working. So, no complaints so far. Now, Back when this car was manufactured, it was one of the top Nissan vehicles on the road and still is today. Nissan uses this vehicle as their luxury sedan and it has always been a good car to drive and own and pretty uh, low on maintenance. Of course, when you start getting up in the miles, when I say that I mean, you know, up around 170, 180, you'll start needing things like control arms and, and shocks and struts and things like that. And any time a car reaches about 12 years of age, you should replace all of the heater and coolant hoses. So that's in the process in the works on this car because it does need coolant hoses. This car actually belongs to a friend of mine's daughter named Emily, and uh, she's been driving the car about six years. It has good tires on it, and it rides good. It has alloy wheels, and there are several other good features of the Nissan Maxima. It has power windows all the way around. All of the windows still work. It has a power sunroof. It still works. It has power door locks, and it also has cruise control, air conditioning, AM, FM, cassette. The only thing that I think has any issues with working on this vehicle is the uh, stereo. The interior of a car has leather all the way around, and as you can see, the leather seats are still in good shape. It has armrests, front and rear, tilt steering wheel, a security system, and it has power seats in the front. The back will sit a few adults comfortably, and it's just a good, comfortable car to, to drive and ride around in. The car has four-wheel disc brakes, alloy wheels, and this one has tinted windows, but the tint on the rear window is almost impossible to see through, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Okay, here's my overall review on the Nissan Maxima. On the gas mileage for the performance, I give it a 3 about average for a car its size, maybe a notch better. My experience with driving on a thousand miles, I got about 24 miles to the gallon, had a hard time getting 25 miles to the gallon on the highway. So the ratings that you see here are pretty accurate and I did get them from fueleconomy.gov. The exterior quality is good, the car looks decent and it was in good shape, nothing falling apart, anything like that. Interior quality, it was a 5. All the buttons and knobs still was in good shape. Everything worked and everything seemed to be in good physical condition. 
the interior layout was a four couple buttons hard to see and uh, with the radio a little bit hard to get at and but you know overall it is a nice interior layout it sits a little low comfort around town it's easy to see around the car the way it's laid out and it's a comfortable car to drive being a luxury sedan and then the comfort on the highway very comfortable car to drive 500 miles in in a day no problem self-service you can service your basic things but some things seem to be a challenge for your do-it-yourself mechanic a common problem that I've seen in these cars once they get about 150,000 miles or so is that the uh, power steering high pressure hose leaks so uh, other than that it doesn't have any uh, uh, repair issues that I'm aware of maybe not any recalls occasionally you'll get a, a brake rotor or something wear and give you a little pulsate in the net but my overall rating for this Nissan Maxima is a 4 it'd be a good car to drive and own even at this age um, my experience is if you keep the car well maintained keep the oil changed keep it tuned up I've got a couple of people that I know that have in excess of 350,000 miles on the original motor in these cars. Thank you so much for watching my review. Now there's a few things that you want to be sure to do prior to pulling the trigger on purchasing a used car. One thing you want to do is have an auto check or a Carfax type report done. You'll need the VIN number and you take that VIN, enter it into that website and you'll get a report of any history of any accidents. It's not a foolproof but at least you'll know, especially if it has any salvage or theft uh, history. Another thing you want to do is take that VIN, contact the automobile manufacturer, either a dealership or the manufacturer uh, customer support nationwide, and find out if there's any recalls against that car and if those recalls have been done. Another thing you want to do is take the car to a certified mechanic or check it out thoroughly yourself. I have a video how to check out a car prior to purchasing it and it's probably called a test drive video or something like that but you want to make sure that car is checked out see if it needs anything immediately upon your purchasing like brakes or something like that which will help you prepare in the event that you're pr uh, planning on purchasing the vehicle for a decent price you don't want to overpay and then spend hundreds of dollars on upkeep that should have already been done Another thing you want to do is take the car, the mileage, and the condition and filter that through a good website for checking values. My favorite website for checking values is uh, NADA Guides. That's a standard that a lot of insurance companies use, and if you use that guide, it'll give you a truer, closer value for the car. Now, I have seen some cars sell for a little bit more than retail because that website will give you averages. And if the car is well maintained, it's clean inside and out, and it doesn't have anything that it needs, it may be worth a little bit more than retail. And uh, last but not least, you want to make sure that vehicle fits your needs and your plans for the vehicle. You don't want to buy a vehicle that's going to be uncomfortable for you and or your family to own and drive. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post them. Hopefully myself or someone else that's familiar with the vehicle will respond to them. Have a great day.